A group of angels paid a visit this afternoon to children who have to spend Christmas in the hospital. They're called Amber's Angels, and they are a group that delivers gifts to kids at Dell Children's Hospital at Christmas time. They were created by a young Dripping Springs woman with cystic fibrosis named Amber Lynn Fett, who spent many Christmases in the hospital and wanted to give hope to children just like her. This one has um, a puppy. Hi, how are you? There you go. You have a Merry Christmas. Would you like a Christmas bag? Yeah. Well, you have to come and tell me how old you are. They are Dell Children's youngest patients, but this day, even the tubes and masks and machines couldn't stop the smiles. Merry Christmas. Debbie Fett wouldn't be anywhere else today. She's been handing out Christmas presents to sick children since her daughter, Amber Lynn, came up with the idea during her freshman year of high school back in 2004. If she could make one kid smile and forget for just one minute or one second where they were, and to be able to be a child, then she knew she was doing what God wanted her to do. There's some kids in here that are smiling. Regardless of what they're going through, they smile. And that's what Amber did. That's what Amber did. She lost her battle with cystic fibrosis in November 2011. But before she left, she had a message for mom. Right before she passed, I told her that we were going to, maybe we should postpone doing it. Um, and she was on life support and she had a tube down her throat and she could only write. And she's like, no, she's like, I don't want the kids that we serve to go without. She made me promise her that I would do it. And so that's why we are, it's because I made that promise. There's one, that's the sister. It's a promise former Longhorn defensive end Eddie Jones made to Amber Lynn too. She saw the light in everything outside of what she was going through. Amber and Eddie met during one of his visits to the hospital and became fast friends. And he's been volunteering with Amber's Angels ever since. That's one thing that she wanted to do, and that's one thing that we love to do together. So I'll continue to keep doing it for the rest of my life. I have a special bag for you. Debbie and Eddie carry on Amber Lynn's legacy. I miss her. Bringing joy to the littlest and the sickest at Christmas. I'll be with Amber's Angels till I take my last breath. Well, Amber's Angels started small with the Fets asking for donations from family members. They have grown a lot since those early days. If you'd like to learn more about them, we've got some links with this story right now at KXAN.com.